In this video, we will show you how to connect to Client 3 for a Macintosh computer. I'm on the Spectrica website here, and I click the download button. Navigate to the Client 3 download area. I'm going to select the Client 3 for Mac, type in my information, and go ahead and download the Client 3. Once the Client 3 is finished downloading, go to my Downloads folder. Drag the Client 3 to my Applications folder. Now that Client 3 has finished installing, I can go ahead and double click the application. You'll notice that the Client 3 shows up in the top right of the tray. I can right click on this, change different profiles that I've created, or if I want to rename a profile, I can click the Preferences, select the profile I want to rename, give it a name. and select update profile. It will rename the profile that I just created. Now I'm ready to connect to it from CalMan Software. CalMan Software is a native Windows application. In this example, we're using a Mac Mini that has Windows running on VMware Fusion, and that's where CalMan is running. We also have the Client 3 for Mac running on the Mac side. We're gonna connect CalMan to the Client 3 over the VMware software. Now that we've got Kalman open, I'm going to go ahead and click on the Direct Display Control tab, select Find Display, make sure that SpectraCal is activated, and for the model, I'm going to select Kalman Client 3, find the computer that is running the Client 3 on the Mac side which is this Mac Mini 192.168. Select Connect. Now Calman is connected to Client 3 on the Mac side. I can select all the options, modes, and settings as if I'm connected to the computer over the network. Now I can begin my calibration. Thank you for watching this video. To learn more about display calibration, please click the links below or check out the other how-to videos on this page. For additional information, you can visit SpectraCal.com or call our tech support number located on the bottom right. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you for watching.